Millernorth's debate team has a long history of success, winning countless tournaments in six back-to-back -back state championships. The past few years have had some changes, but this year, the debate team's assistant coach now takes the reins of the team. Coming into Millard North is unique in that way. Before I got here, the debate team had won six state titles in a row uh, consecutively. So I wasn't looking to improve a lot. I was looking to make sure that I maintained the habits and practices and, and things, routines that they had that created that success. The transition's been pretty smooth because he used to be an assistant coach. So he knows a lot of the members of the team already and knows how we function. He's already worked with the debate team before. So overall, like nothing much has changed, but we've gone to different tournaments and different kinds of like practices um, look a little bit different. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, I've been, I graduated high school in 2004. I've been coaching debate basically since then. And I can't really think of another debate team that's had this kind of sustained success as far as state championships, national qualifiers, success at nationals, things like that. The debate team has already fallen into the groove of the season, getting adjusted to the mix of in-person and online tournaments. While they're not completely back to normal, it does open the opportunity for them to go to more tournaments and hone their skills. Typical debate season, so when it's like prime time season, it goes from just like practices the whole week to a tournament pretty much every Saturday. As far as practice goes, um, we practice every night. Not every student practices every night, but um, they just do practice rounds and research and drills and things like that. So we stay pretty busy. We get to go to a lot of more national tournaments because they're um, online and they're not travel. So it gives us more opportunities to bid for the TOC and just get better in general. He's very flexible with how we do our tournaments. So he lets us go to certain tournaments just by ourselves. So I think that's really nice. And so we've had a lot of success. Some of them shuffled which events they're doing. Um, but now that they're getting into in-person rounds and getting actual experience in that way, they, they show a lot of growth. The debate coach finds much promise in his team and has no doubt that they'll maintain their skills and progress. We've had students already winning tournaments. Uh, we've had students showing a lot of gains in knowledge as far as the topics that are selected or the styles of debate that they do. We want to keep that up. So we continue to like just keep putting in the work, keep doing practices and just like maintaining what we're doing. I like the level of compete here. I like the, uh, the success, obviously, that comes with it. We have a very smart group of students that makes my job easy. I just do everything I can to, you know, I'm still in touch with the, my predecessor, the other coach, some of the senior leaders on the team uh, to, to keep that going. For The Blue View, this has been Jack McFadden and Gabe Miller.